Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. We're here at Oracle Open World 2014 in the city by the bay. Here at the Moscone Center. Now, one of the themes this year is the cloud and how all of the applications and services and content is going to the cloud. And so I thought I'd bring on Ruby Ann Diang. She's one of our global field systems engineers and actually one of her areas of expertise is identity and access management. And so really my question is, you got people moving all over the place. I mean, we're in San Fran, you know, here in San Francisco, far away from home on our mobile devices. And then the content itself is no longer static within a physical data center. It's moving around the globe with the cloud. So how do you, like, how do organizations try to match up the right person to the right stuff when everything's moving on both sides? Right, so, so yeah, so you're, you present a challenge in that there are multiple applications within the cloud. Users are using their mobile devices that can be anywhere. So what that means is that there can be multiple directories, one in-house, and then one in the cloud, at minimum. Which means that if a user were to leave that organization, it, you know, it might be a security risk because their user account and passwords may not get deleted across you know, all those apps that reside within the cloud. Um, also, that user would have to memorize multiple passwords um, if, you know, if, they're, if they're accessing those applications. So I actually read a statistic that there's like, I can't remember the exact number, but something like a quarter of the employees out there are, after they've left the company, they're still able to access internal resources. I can't imagine that being good for a business. Right, exactly. And so how then do organizations, they got two directories and the cloud requires the directory out there. So how do organizations kind of solve this challenge that's going on? Right, so, so a lot of times, you know, our customers would implement the big IP um, and have that talk to their directory and basically leverage that big IP and use a technology like SAML mm -hmm. um, to be able to do single sign-on. So basically all they would have to do is set up you know, the APM on site um, and have that talk securely to the directories within the cloud via SAML and then uh, leverage single sign-on. So. And so the person, the, so the kind of the steps then is the individual would still go to their big IP or the, or the URL, I should say, really, the URL that they know to get access. And from there, because of the SAML implementation, we're able to more or less vouch for them when they get redirected to the, the SaaS application. Exactly. And, the, and based on that information, the tokens and such that are passed back and forth, the SaaS application knows, oh, you're this guy and you get access to that stuff. Right, exactly. And the issue that was presented earlier, when that user leaves, all the organization has to do is now delete that account um, on their on their on-prem directory. The single directory, and then it'll it'll populate out. You still you won't be able to get in anymore. Right, right, exactly. And so I can imagine that's much uh, probably much less of a headache for administrators out there still being able to just manage that single one rather than multiple ones out there. What other benefits might there be? Well, as I said earlier, single sign-on. So that user doesn't have to memorize three, four, five passwords, you know. When we have to memorize that, we tend to make our passwords simple. Yeah. So that can present a security risk as well to the organization. Pretty interesting stuff, that's cool. So a little bit more about how you kind of solve this challenge of having your resources out in the cloud, but then ensuring that the right person is getting to the right information at the right time. I really appreciate your time, Ruby. Oh, I'm glad to be here. First time on the show, everybody first time on, gotta give a shaka, you gotta give one shakas. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so I got my good buddy Jonathan behind the lens. You did a great job, don't worry about it. So for Jonathan and Ruby Ann, I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.